Honor, and may it please the court, as we are on behalf of the petitioner, that is Election Commission of Pakasia, I am going to address before this honorable court issue B and C. Issue B is related that whether it is mandatory in the constitution to conduct election within the 90 day period or if this threshold, on, uh, or if this threshold can be deviated from. If so, and if so, to what extent and under what circumstances. So normally it is mandatory in the constitution to conduct election within 90 day period after the, the dissolution of assemblies. But the election can be deviated from the stipulated time if there is unprecedented circumstances in the country. Is, there is in, in constitution or in law? No, no, uh, there is no uh, such provision that specifically mentioned that if there is such a condition, uh, one article is 232, 233, but if there is proclaimed emergency, but now in this, this situation there is no proclaimed emergency, so we just uh, to, uh, take, an, uh, take consideration of the ground realities. That is uh, clear from the facts that the current uh, economic situation of Pakasia is, uh, is characterized by low growth, high inflation, rising debt and depreciation currency. As the country is in risk of default, so it needs urgent reforms to survive. And what under the Yes, Your Honor, you mentioned very clear, but the constitution, the articles of the constitution should be coherently and harmoniously be prevailed, as there is the duty of the election commission of Pakasia to conduct election freely, fairly and justly as it is mentioned in article 218 of class 3. That, let me read the article uh, for you, Your Honor, that it shall be the duty of the election commission to organize and conduct the election and to make such arrangements as are necessary that the election is conducted freely, fairly, honestly and in accordance with the law. So if we conduct a election in these times, in these economic crisis time, so that article of the constitution will be compromised as the economic situation of the country uh, uh, described in the facts. Council, uh, given the constitution, I would like to assist us on certain provisions that we Duration of Provincial Assembly, Article 107, a Provincial Assembly shall, unless sooner dissolved, continue for a term of five years from the... From five years. Now we have Duration of National Assembly. Article 52, the National Assembly shall unless sooner dissolve continue for a term of five years from the day of its first meeting and shall stand dissolved at the expiration of its term. Yes, years. Your Honor. Now come back page number 30 of your memorandum. Yes, Your Honor. You are referring to certain unprecedented circumstances. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, and you are seeking the help of there are two of the state effects which is available on page number 5. Yes, Your Honor. The problems are that the state is currently going through the phase high inflation economic crisis term. Yes, Your Honor. Don't you think that it is a deficiency on the part of a government? Yes. Whether existing or is likely to come. My question is, don't you think that it is the government which is supposed to come after conduct of election? to look after the issues and the deficiencies which you are relying on instead of that we benefit the existing government and so that they could carry on with the deficiencies. Yes the resources which will be provided by the government to the election commission of Pakistan to conduct elections. So as so you are referring to a manifesto yes. which is to be given by a political government. Yes, Your Honor. Now we are stuck in a case of conduct of elections. Yes, Your Honor. They are not referring to a particular party. Now for instance, if there was no democratic front of party, neither next unity party, every single citizen of this country has a right to participate in elections. Yes. How come we could restrict that right to a two, two 
Your Honor, with uh, great deference, if we conduct the election in the stipulated time which is given by the Honorable Supreme Court, is it is also clear that in near future the general uh, election to the National Assembly are also due in near future. So if we conduct election now and then we conduct election to that General Assembly, the, the, burden, the burden and the cost of the election will be highly on this unstable economy and they will cost a lot of uh, finance and uh, a substantial amount of money. So we just avoid the double election. Let me ask you a simple question. Is it the job of election commission to highlight high inflation economic prices or terror? No, it is not. It's the duty of the uh, government to highlight as the election commission of Pakasya uh, want the resources and fund from the government. So the government highlighted these issues and due to... Isn't it that the government existing would be the beneficiary on account of long term of election? And if we conduct election, Your Honor, in these, the, these provinces and the election uh, uh, in the presence of an elected government in these provinces, then it will not be possible to hold free and fair election to the General Assemblies because these elected setup will in negatively influence the general election if any any of the party comes in the... Uh, in the now, with your plea, you are going against Article 283 of the Constitution which we have referred to on page number 13. If you read out the same, if you are of the view that conducted elections within particular provinces would affect its result and you would lean in favor of a single party or now it is your job to conduct election policy in this case. Mere saying that if it is conducted, that practice is to happen. So there is. You are going to cover the process of honesty, fairness after you conduct the election. Your Honor, the resources which needs for conducting election will provide by the uh, provincial government and the national government. So, if in uh, if in a party comes uh, if a party comes to the uh, government and the election commission of Pakasya wants the resources, so they will influence and uh, they will take benefits in the na national assembly election to uh, give benefits to their own party. So that's why the reason that we want to uh, do election at all level uh, uh, in, in all Pakistan at all level at once so the impartiality and justness be can, uh, taken care of another another issue is uh, uh, with holding up election is to holding up election under the uh, new census is the, is the mandate of article 51 class 5 of the constitution and holding up election under the old census would deprive the considerable population of their due representation in the parliament. So the census will also be completed uh, uh, in, in, coming, uh, in coming months the, uh, and the election will be held under the new census and that population will be, uh, uh, their, their, their due representation will be taken care of. And uh, with due respect to runner, may I proceed to the next issue? Issue C is related that in this case that whether the Chief Justice of Pakasya has the unbridled power to take Somoto notices independently. So we have the stand that the Chief Justice of Pakasya should not and should not have the unbridled power to take Somoto notices independently. As the Somoto power is mostly applied in a situation where I just take takes action against any individual or official upon violation of uh, fundamental rights without prior application from the parties to the uh, respectable court. As the... Uh, uh, Sumuru is a process. Yes, Your Honor. Or agenda. It's a process to invoke the ju original jurisdiction of the Honorable Supreme Court. So, if it is a process, how come you are going to get an act of an individual? Because it would be later upon looked by the judges. Yes, Your Honor. And they can say that the powers be removed are right or wrong. Sir, uh, Your Honor, if I may read the Article 184, Class 3. Yes. Article 184, Class 3 says that without prejudice to the provision of Article 199, the Supreme Court shall, if it considers that a question of public importance, with reference to the enforcement of fundamental of any of the fundamental rights confirmed by the Chapter 1 of Part 2 have the power to make an order of the nature mentioned in the said article. So here the world Supreme Court has been used. Yes, Your Honor. I agree with you. I agree that Article 176 speaks about this thing. My question is that Sumo itself is a process. 
Yes, Your Honor. It is undertaken by the Chief Justice himself. Yes, Your Honor. So, how come the process itself was other judges of the Supreme Court? Because after some more is undertaken, it is the judges who are trying to take it upon your honor, as the Somoto process and the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court under Article 184, Class 3 is extraordinary and absolute. It is if a matter in this jurisdiction, then the Supreme Court jurisdiction is the final and ultimate arbiter. And the aggrieved party left with no remedy right of appeal. As right of appeal is under Article 185, Class 2, is the fund, a substantive right of the party. So, in uh, invoking the original jurisdiction, the, the, the court should take the consideration of the parties and if the, uh, the matter is can be adjudicated by the lower courts, so the Supreme Court shall uh, leave to the lower courts so that the right of appeal with the party may be remained. As the Honorable Judge of the Supreme Court, Justice Sayyid Mansour Ali Shah, has the observation regarding the Somoto powers which are exercised by the Chief Justice of Pakasia. I have the uh, written form of the, that observation. May I provide to you, Your Honor? May I read the statement of the Honorable Judge? Yes. In order to strengthen the judicial institution and to ensure the, the public trust and public confidence in Supreme Court, it's time to revisit the, one, the power of one man show enjoyed by the Office of Chief Justice of Pakasya. This court cannot be dependent on the solitary decision of one man, that is the Chief Justice, but must be regulated through a rule-based system adopted and approved by all judges of the court under Article 191 of the Constitution in regulating exercise, exercise of its jurisdiction under Article 184, Class 3. So the power of doing one man show is not only obsolete but also contrary to the good governance and contradictory to the democratic norms. The use of power in this manner leads to the concentration of power in the hands of one individual, making the system more vulnerable to the abuse of power. In contrast to that, a coordinated system with check and balances helps prevent the abuse and mistakes in the exercise of power and promote transparency and accountability. Too much power in one hand makes the institution more like autocratic and resulting in one-man policies being pursued, which may have a tendency of going against the right and interest of the people. The Chief Justice Yes, Your Honor. The, not the other judges only. They can take some more action with the consent. consent. 183, the World Supreme Court used, so the Supreme Court consists of the other judges also. So with the consultation of the other judges, the Supreme Court shall ennoble on the matter of... Not the word consultation is used, but uh, we have uh, reservation and observation, so the court must take... Uh, as I have mentioned the observation of the uh, Honorable Judge of the Supreme Court. So he has also these, not binding, but he, that, that observation must, uh, must be taken into consideration. So in the future, to avoid the arbitrariness of the use of power. Chief, Chief Justice is one among the judges of the Supreme Court. Yes, Your Honor. He has to be a judge of the Supreme Court and subsequently become the Chief Justice. Yes, Your Honor. So don't you think that your argument is itself uh, deriding the judge himself when he acts as the chief judge. Your Honor, I didn't understand your question. My question is quite simple. You are of the view that every judge is important. Yes, right? Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. And a judge, when he comes the chief justice, is yes. yes, sir, and everyone. Yes. Then no. the judge must be. No, no. I, I didn't mention he, that the other judge lesser of important. The, all judges have equal importance uh, the, composed of the Supreme Court and they, the, the sole power, the use of sole uh, authority by the Chief Justice, so the, uh, they, uh, the Chief Justice must take consultation with the other judges in invoking the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Not must, I, I, I use that, that word, but... 
no no i have no authority but i have the reservation and i am expecting this bench to be taken care of this reservation and be ta taken into consideration this reservation carefully as the as the the original jurisdiction is of the power of public importance the original jurisdiction to be invoked in the public importance issues so the public importance issues affect public at large so uh, it needs to be seen in that uh, consideration it is in the public uh, interest and public importance but i have also mentioned the reason that why the election uh, should uh, shall be postponed to for some uh, months in order to be conducted with the uh, election up to the general assemblies uh, uh, we 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 can say that undeclared emergency there is no declared emergency but the economic situation is highly dire so in this situation and uh, your honor the chief justice of pakasia usually use this power in a discretionary manner and this discretion discretion needs to be structured through rules structuring discretion means to organizing it producing a order in it which prayer prayer your honor with great reference in the light of issues raised arguments advanced and authority cited the counsel for petitioner humbly prays that the honorable supreme court be pleased to adjudge declare and hold the following remedies number 1 the order and uh, the order and smc number 1 2023 may humbly be set aside and the relevant high court be directed to adjudicate the matter within specified time in order to preserve the credibility of the high courts and may not be questioned Number second, the general elections to the provinces may be held at a time when the general is, uh, election of the national assembly in order to avoid the unfairness and injustice. Number third, the extensive somoto powers used, the extensive somoto powers used may be regulated by the full court consensus to avoid the arbitrariness of one person and public importance issues. Thank you, Your Honour.